Hey YouTube, what's going on today? I thought I would just take a couple of seconds and share with you some information that I have uh, learned and things that I have been able to put together which makes working with Kydex just a little bit better. Now, some of the... Uh, one of the things in working with Kydex and making holsters and knife sheaths and everything else are uh, the belt loops. How do I make a belt loop? Well, there's a couple of different ways of making belt loops. Uh, some of them don't uh, turn out too well, as you can see by this little guy. He was an experiment uh, a long time ago, and he just didn't work out very well. And so then I went to um, making them a little differently. and I don't know if you can see these really good. Um, by hand and making, uh, using some wood products and things. And I could only get one at a time and they weren't that fantastic. So then I saw on uh, Philly EDC, John had a uh, belt loop jig that one of the other guys had worked up and I thought well what the heck let me I tried to get one it that didn't work out and so I thought well I'm smarter than your average bear so I'll just figure out how to do this myself so now my belt loops look like this and they're consistent what I did is I, uh, I actually went to the store and bought a bunch of pre-cut wood. It wasn't pre-cut, I shouldn't say that. It was in uh, sizes that I could handle. I don't have a big saw or any way to take care of big pieces of wood. So I had to start cutting things down. And uh, the pieces I bought were um, 6 by 12. They were in a craft store. And I just brought them home. I was able to cut them up. This is one of the thicker ones. And this I used for the base and for the top on mine. Which is sitting right here. I'm pull that down a little bit and let you take a look. Now inside doesn't look like much. This little piece right here comes out of there. You heat your Kydex up. You set it in there, you set this down in, you crimp down where you want, you crimp down where you want your, um, you know, your, your kydex to go. And then you put, I just put this on top of it and I, and, and I just hold it. I suppose if you had a weight, you could put a weight on it and you'd be done with it in no time. I just put my hand on it, I lean on it, whatever, to uh, do it. Now, I, how do you do the kydex? Well, if you put one piece of kydex in at a time, you can imagine, if you put one in, let's suppose you cut this all up. I use uh, 093 kydex for belt uh, loops. Let's suppose you cut this all up, you put it in here, you, you put each one individually in the oven. You bring them back out here. Let's suppose you've heated up eight pieces of this stuff, or six you want to make. Well, by the time you get done laying the last one in here, the first one has already gone hard on you. It, you, can't, uh, you can't move fast enough to keep the kydex from cooling down. So, what I thought was, well, I know that you can score Kydex. Uh, Kydex does have some self-healing properties. But, I thought, well, what the heck? So, I scored. You can see how I kind of made it fold there. I scored some Kydex. The, I scored it in 5 eighths pieces. I cut it at four and a half inches in length. And then what I do is I just put this in the oven. I bring it back out here. It's all one piece still. I can handle it. 
I put it in the press for the belt loops and lo and behold I, I can make my belt loops all at once. Now with uh, Movie Magic I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm going to heat this Kydex and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the Kydex heated up. I'm going to pull that out of the oven. Turn that off. And here we go. Lay that across there like that. I've got a little line up there. I try to put the top across. Make sure it's as straight as I can get it. You don't have too long to work. And you press down. And I bring this piece down and bring that down. I kind of get a little start to it there. I put some pressure on it. You can't do it too long because it's hot. I just put this right over the top of it and then I press. And then I think about what I'm going to have for lunch. And pretty soon that rolls into thinking about what I'm going to have for dinner. And pretty soon the thinking process just goes away. At my age that can happen. Um, I'm sure if you had a clamp or two you could probably put a clamp on this and walk away and leave it. But Kydex has a tendency to cool down pretty quick. Let's see how we're looking. We're not looking too bad. Let's do it just a little bit more here. Now you got to remember that those were scored before I put them in there on the 093 Kydex. Uh, some guys use the, what is it, the 125? But I think probably the 093 is plenty, plenty thick. I use uh, the 060 for my holsters. Um, a lot of guys use the 080. For their holsters. Uh, it just kind of depends personal preference. I get pretty good definition out of the 06. So let's see what we got here. Now keep in mind I could have put in you know a bunch of these. So here it is. It, it comes right out on that little piece of wood. So then it it takes a little takes a couple of seconds to get it to separate off the wood because when it's warm it doesn't want to doesn't want to come off of there very easily so I'm just going to slide it off got to be careful not to give yourself any slivers so here's what we've got we've got a chunk that big and you can kind of see you can see daylight there through this through right there uh, on that slit where it's kind of opened up a little bit. So, you know, you let it cool down a little bit, and there's, there's a side view, just like the, if you do it one at a time. And so then you just take them and uh, play with them a little bit, and break them apart. Um, this one looks like it almost might have healed. Well, there's a way to take care of that, too. You work with pliers. Because this is only five-eighths of an inch thick. Uh, you're doing better than I can if you can just pinch that. Of course, I'm old. But then on the other hand, you know, Old people can do things too. Let's take a hold of this one. There we go. And then you just kind of work them apart. And there you got it. Belt loops. And then later you drill them, of course, and, you know, mount them on your holster. But they're uniform, they're standard, they, uh, they look good, they work good, and the little mold comes in real handy. And, you know, somebody might say, well, how thick is this? 
Well, I have no clue. Let's see what thickness that is. No. One, two, three, four, five, five sixteenths. Six sixteenths, maybe. Um, it makes a big enough opening in it to accommodate a belt. This particular one will do up to an inch and three quarters on that belt loop. And that's about a max of what uh, people will wear on the street. So there you have it. Um, not too hard to put together. I thought about buying more wood and making some more and selling them, but I'm so busy with my holsters, I don't have time to hardly mess with these things. But anyway, that's it. How to make belt loops out of Kydex. Talk to you later, YouTube.